Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and today I'm going to cover the Shattered Realm Forest of Echoes. Now this is week four. I'm recording this video on September 14th. I can get to just about everything that you can see at this point, but there's one more thing it seems that I'm not going to be able to get to. And if you go to Triumphs, you can look. The Triumphs, Season of the Lost, Forest of Echoes. I can investigate places, I can look at mysteries, I can find all of these things, but you come down here to the bottom, a cache of data awaits you near these three areas. And the only reason I say I can't get to those yet is because if you go to the compass, and you go to the compass upgrades, I got this one. The duration of barrier breach is like 45 seconds now, it's insane. But this one completes step 34 of the Wayfinder's Voyage. Well, if you want to see what step of the quest I'm on right now, I'm on step 30. So 34 will be next week, which means I should get that upgrade next week, which is good. So if I do a, uh, like a video over the debris of dreams, I'll be able to get there. But for now, those are the only ones that I can't get to. So we're going to have to come back to week seven for those. Just keep that in your head. But at this point, I've got basically every other upgrade. And I've also got this. Agar Scepter, the new stasis trace rifle. This I got done with the exotic quest, so I've done all four weeks of the uh, Atlas Skews, which takes you into an exotic quest. You've got some grinding to do. You'll go through, you'll pick up the weapon, you'll use it on a boss, knock it out, talk to Mara a couple times, there's a cool cinematic. This allows you to shoot the kind of invisible purple glisteny walls, and you can open up some other things. So I will also be using this in there. The only thing, as I said, that I'm not going to be able to do is the compass upgrade that gives you the data caches and hopefully I can put that in a nice little tight video on week seven for you guys because that's got to be the only thing that's going to be lacking after this. So for today, we're going to head into the Forest of Echoes and find just about everything that I know that I can get to because there's a lot of it. So here we go. All right, so just a reminder, you are going to need an overload weapon and also a unstoppable weapon. I've got a bow and a linear fusion rifle. And then I've, of course, got my trace rifle with me. If you don't have this yet, again, spoiler warning, it is a stasis trace rifle, but there's an exotic quest guide. You can find that on my channel too. And the first thing that you basically want to do is work your way down. If you've seen my previous video, some of this stuff will be uh, repetition, but I'm still going to try and take you guys, if you're new to the video, probably the most efficient way that I can through this. And I'm probably going to do like a wrap and there's going to be some edits in here. But as we go through this, there's certain things that will hopefully be a bit more efficient as we can get to most of them now. So as you head down, also remember, if you need to know where to go, follow the little lamps. They actually do guide you, these little things. Follow them, and they'll give you the general idea of where to go. But you can drop down here. We're going to clear out some ads first. Find whatever ads are around here. Uh, excuse you. Gotta love shielding enemies. Makes things fun. That about everybody? Not quite. Something with an arc, your an arc energy weapon is not a bad idea because most of the shields in here are arc. There's a couple others, but most are going to be arc. There's no like match game or anything, but you should be good to go. So once you clear out your first set of enemies, you'll literally not be able to miss this one. Turn to your left over here, grab the ascendant anchor, and then we're going to keep going. Remember this, we'll come back. But for now, we're going to head to Beacon 1, clear out the ads if you need to along the way. Beacon ahead. Be cautious. You can clear these guys if you want to, it's not totally required. If they're being shielded, they make life really fun, I'll tell you that. Alright, that should be everybody cleared out. You're going to come over here to Beacon 1. And we're going to activate it, clear out the ads. I am going to skip the clearing of the ads, so once you clear this out, this one you will need your unstoppable weapon for the champion. So let's clear this thing out. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so once you have cleared Beacon 1, what we're going to do is make a big lap, kind of a weird figure eight thing, and I'm going to cover just about everything I can before we head to Beacon 2. So first thing you're going to want to do is basically do a quick U-turn in the church. And if you've done this before, you don't have to get some of these again, but if you want to pick them up, you can, because you always get more for it. But you're going to want to invoke Barrier Breach. Now, my Phase Breach is much longer because I've upgraded my compass. You can get this one just by doing the quest. So, jump up here, grab this, jump up here, and most of you guys will remember this anchor. 
But now, we can invoke True Sight. Watch the hole in the floor. We're going to jump outside on these little platforms. Don't worry about that. We'll get to it later. And we're going to climb up here to the floating part of the church. And open this chest. There's an enigmatic mystery called the bells. We're going to go ahead and go back down in the church. Easiest way I can tell you, just directionally. Fall down through one of the gaps. And then once again, if you are facing the beacon. Also, you've got these random little platforms in here, but I don't think they do too much. I think they're just an easier path up to the top if you need it. That's if you take True Sight from another location. So back to facing the beacon. Again, the way you entered the church. We're going to head out the right side door. You're slowed for a little bit, so just be careful about this jump. Just make sure you clear it. Come up here. We're going to have this next anchor on the cliff side right here as you come up. And once you're up here, there will be a few enemies up here. So if they are there, don't worry about it. Now you're going to have safe passage. If you do spawn enemies when this happens, that's okay. Just know you can take care of them and then spawn it again and they shouldn't come back. But if you do spawn them again, I'll give you guys a second. It only lasts for about 10 seconds. But the goal is to get right up there. So if you can jump on anything basically up here, jump up to the second level, you can grab Barrier Breach, you can fall down in here, and you can grab this chest. It's a standard trivial mystery. I had it before on week one. After that, come out, go to the left from there. We're gonna find True Sight, and we're gonna follow the platforms across the back end, be careful about being slowed there for that first jump. Now you should be in normal movement mode. Follow these all the way back. And you need to kind of move because my true sight is extended. But again, it doesn't last forever. So I wouldn't lollygag too much as you go back here until you get to this platform. We can grab this chest in the back. This will be an enigmatic one. And this is Airwalk. Go ahead and refresh your true sight. And we're going to go to the top of this castle... Castle? Castle looking thing. From up here, there's probably going to be a few enemies down there. You can kill them from above. When you fall, try and fall to this level. Don't try and get out there. So just kind of fall here in the corner. Clear any ads that you need to clear. Behind this little structure, you're going to find a barrier breach. Head out the backside. Over here. And you'll get outside the slowed area. You don't have to go too far. You're just going to grab this chest. There's nothing out on that circular platform. There's no other platforms. So just grab the chest, which is twofold ward, and turn back around. You can grab barrier breach again if you need it. Hop back inside. And then you can go ahead and head back to the middle. Now, if you do fall for some reason, you're fighting enemies... You can grab safe passage, jump back up in case you fell down for some reason. No big deal. Head back out. You're going to see kind of the chapel off to the right. We basically made a big loop to come back where we are. And what I'm going to have you do is actually head over here to the left edge. And grab... You might have to kill some enemies. That's okay. My bow has dragonfly on it, so things tend to explode. It's just fun that way. There we go. And just as a detour so we don't forget about it, and you're going to have to do it one way or another. Grab True Sight. And I just want to do this now so we don't forget about it as you head towards a boss run or just kind of as we get to Beacon 2. So we're going to grab this guy right here in the middle and then make a quick U-turn and head back. One way or another, you're going to be making a U-turn to get to that one. So once you're back to the safe passage area, you can actually jump up these rocks. And you can kind of skip dealing with anything down there in the middle. There's actually a platform up there that we need to get to. So give me a sec. I'll have to deal with that in a second. But I want to show you guys this anchor right here. So this is the one actually behind the little tomb building. So we're going to go ahead and pick that one up. And then from here, we're going to head back. And we're going to grab the true site so you can see up above. And then we're going to go invoke safe passage in the middle so we can actually try and climb these platforms. So from Field of Strife, you can climb up fairly quickly. Try and get as high as you can. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the way up here because... Oh, I actually am high enough, so that's okay. So keep climbing to the top, and we've got this chest up here at the top. This is an enigmatic mystery, and this is a, as above, so unseen. True Sight's about to be out, so you can kind of find a way to fall safe. And then now that's the church, and we're headed back to the tomb. You guys don't know that, but I literally just discovered that one while I was recording the video. So, you know, hats off to being a little lucky. So come up here. You're going to have some ads. Clear them out however you need to. Okay, why are you not dying? Thank you. Going to have usually this group of ads tends to come back. Should be just about everybody. Okay. So now, once we've got back to the front of the tomb, church is over there on the left. We got everything that direction. Now we're going to go down in the tomb. We grab your barrier breach, head down in. And we are going to have anchors over here. Grab this guy. And you're probably going to have some ads right here. So go ahead and knock those out. And you're going to have this chest tucked right back here. That's a trivial one. I've got it before. Now you want to pull out your scepter and you want to look up. So here's your chest. You can see this kind of rock structure that I'm almost bumping into. If you look up right here, you can break this one, jump up. You can't get out because it's like going to slow you and knock you down, but you can grab this anchor right here and then come back down underneath. Instead of heading to the left to exit, we're going to head to the right. So grab true sight and barrier breach. Head outside. Grab the platform. And I want you to remember this area because this platform right now is what we're going to fall to from up there when we come back another direction. So we're going to head in here. You're probably going to have a couple enemies in here. I've cleared them out because I've been like kind of working my way through this. You need to make sure you use your true sight fast enough to get back here and pick this up because if you don't have true sight you won't be able to see this chest this is laid to rest and what we're eventually going to be doing is bringing one of these things down to this statue but i'll show you guys how to do that but for now from the chest we're going to head back this way we're going to grab our scepter again and from here jump up on this little platform turn around shoot this big rock Gonna have an anchor right up here as we work our way out. And you're gonna laugh at me when I show you guys where we are. We are right back at Beacon 1. So we've gone full circle from heading to the right, all the way underneath, and back. So, now that we are back at Beacon 1, we're gonna go up to the top up there where that little orb is. You may not have that icon. I've been up there and rotated around, so it's probably like, you know, seen for me. So now I'm gonna head out to the left if I'm facing the beacon. Grab True Sight. This jump is the only precarious one. Make sure you get like the shortest angle here. Should be able to make it up from there. Again, True Sight doesn't last forever, but it does last a while. Grab your anchor that's on the big circular platform. Come up here and you can grab this chest up here at the top. And this is enshrined. Now, which you can do this one of two ways. You can pick that up and you can follow Toland, this little floaty guy, and he's going to take you down that direction. I'm trying to get around him because if you get near him, he's going to move. Basically, if I get near him, you can see him. He's going to appear right down there and he's going to take you back through the tomb all the way down underneath. What I want to show you guys is what I feel is a much faster way if you can manage the jumps. If not, all you're going to do is follow the true sight platforms down to there. Grab the barrier breach. And you don't have to... You can pick this thing up and still activate these things. I'll show you. So grab barrier breach. You'll go down in the tomb. And then the same place I showed you guys way down there. You would just follow all the way around there. But there's a shorter path. So what I'm going to prefer to do is I'm going to grab the relic. Grab true sight. And I'm going to work my way back down. Just don't get to the slowed area... Otherwise, you won't be able to come back. So get to about here. 
And then what you want to do is kind of catch your fall. And then just right here, fall on down. And it's just much shorter. But this is the same way we went through before. Need to grab barrier breach because you won't have that at this point. And you're going to bust this open. Now, when this happens, you're going to have some enemies that spawn. So be ready. I'm going to show you guys what those look like. We're going to go ahead and deposit that. We're going to get a lot of ads coming. There's more. Don't worry. There's big boy. That's the one you want to kill. Now, I have... Oh, he's going to teleport like he used to, huh? And he's dead. Kill any other abs that are down here. And you should be good. If you've never seen those before, those guys are a little terrifying. If you wonder how my linear fusion rifle did so much damage, boss spec for one, but also particle deconstruction. If you don't have this mod, I highly recommend bringing it with you. So from here, now you've got a new chest. Lawrence this one like a star is the burning, dark ritual. Of space, a for others, and then you can exit the same way we did last time. Curiosity that took her life when Go she back through here. The black garden against my wishes and never returned. And jump your way out. Trying to let Mara talk there for a sec, sorry. And then we're back in the church one more time. Apparently we've got a few ads. Just gonna work our way across. The ads do occasionally respawn, which is a good thing in case you for some reason run out of ammo or whatever may be going on. You should at least have enough things to kill. Or you're not too hard up for ammo. Okay. We're back at the pavilion. And we're basically back at the freebie. I say freebie. Basically it was the anchor that was right here in the tree. So if you need a point of reference, there's the chapel on the left. There's a little tomb on the right. And I'm going to do a 180. So from here, we're going to grab barrier breach. It lasts much longer now, so it's not as much of a worry. When you come down in here, you're going to have an add off to the left, most likely. But we've got a chest down here. Open this guy up. I've opened that one before. We're going to jump down. We're going to grab this anchor. And then we're going to switch over to our scepter and we're going to shoot this wall. And you're going to have another chest in here. This one is called... Okay, apparently it has no name. Which is weird. So you can re-get your buffs. You can get barrier breach over here. Get true side as you walk out. And you can follow the platforms here. Now, you can go two different ways coming up. We're going to come back through this area, so don't worry about it. Grab your anchor. And then we're going to come up this direction. You could go to the right. You could go above. I'm going to get through all that stuff later on. For now, just keep following me this direction. And we're going to clear this area and head to Beacon 2. Kind of fun to shatter things, so you may as well do it since I've got it. Is that everybody? Then there's also a triumph. So if you haven't got your triumph for killing stuff with uh, trace rifles, you may as well do that. Alright, so now we're just going to head to Beacon 2. Straight away. Once we get to Beacon 2, I'm going to clear that one out, and then I will show you guys the path to basically everything else. And as usual, there's nothing at the boss level. Everything else is before that. Now, if you want to grab safe passage, you can make this faster. It's not really required. Work your way up the hill, and also you don't spawn adds. As you're coming up, you can blow this one away. And you can grab this anchor on the inside. And just to confirm, nothing else in there. Keep working your way up this side. We'll come back through there in a little bit. Clear out a couple of ads. And this is going to be Beacon 2. Now, you're going to have an overload champion here. It's going to be kind of a sniper that comes from that direction. If you haven't done this, I'd be surprised. But I'm going to go ahead and clear this one out. 
and then we'll go through everything else. All right, so once you've cleared out Beacon 2, and you can, if you use the direction I'm facing, you can see the big beam of light that is Beacon 3. You can see that floating tower over there. You're going to turn slightly to your right, kind of go around this, these two rocks over here, and we're going to grab True Sight. You're going to see a nice little platform appear. And there's a second True Sight, which always seems like a little bit of overkill. You can go ahead and grab that. There will be a couple ads back here. I've cleared them out already. Sorry, I've been trying to figure out the best method for this whole thing. I'm going to grab an anchor back here. We're going to go ahead and refresh our True Sight again. You're going to grab the Scepter. Take the lower route first. Shoot this wall. Grab the chest that's hidden in here. Some of these aren't even like trivial chests, they're just chests. I'm gonna go back, refresh True Sight just to make sure it doesn't run out. And this time, take the left fork in the road. And you're gonna grab the tree trunk. Anchor right here. You're going to refresh in case you're a little slow on the jumps, and you can head back. We don't need to head back that way. We'll be going through there. Don't worry. Once we're back on the little island, grab this first little node right here, which is Barrier Breach. And we're just going to go straight through this wall. Not much else in here besides a chest, but grab it along the way. And then we are back at Beacon same point of reference as before there's the light for beacon three now from here you should be able to look up and see this wonderful glowing blight we're gonna chase the blights that open up and follow where they go so follow me up the cliffs and we're gonna clear out any and all the ads that come with this you don't have to use this weapon it's just it works better than my bow would Spreading like a cancer now you're going to see some lines. floating blights that will spawn and stuff down below. So however you want to get down there, I've got a nice fashionable entrance for my titan. And same thing, go in here, you got to kill both of these blights. For some reason, the trace rifle... More effective than my linear fusion. All right, so both of those are down. I'm gonna grab a little ammo, and then we're gonna can't. Then we're gonna retreat the way we came. Now those are just random spawning ads. Don't worry about those. So again, facing the third light, you guys can see the floating orbs over there. We're going to head back that direction, but the easiest way to get there is basically go back to the middle. So if you need a point of reference, and don't worry, we're going to come back from here. Head towards the barrier breach this direction. We're going to come back for that too, don't you worry. We're going to head down this direction. We're going to clear out a few of these ads. See if we got any ammo to pick up. And then when you get out here, now you can see you've got some more blights to deal with. The same thing as before. I'm gonna clear this out. And keep following just the blights in the sky and the ones you'll notice you're looking for are the ones with the big spinners over the top. A lot of ads down here, as you can tell. Just for entertainment value, I'm gonna use my super because they seem nice and collected. Clear out a lot of these ads. Still got more blights to clear. That dude's just invulnerable. This thing's a pretty fun weapon to use so far. I have no idea if it's ever going to be like meta, but it is kind of fun. I'll give it that. All right, so almost all the blights gone. I got plenty of heavy ammo, so I'm just going to unload this thing. Source 
source of this corruption is at hand. Find it. All right, so just like before, it. grab any ammo if you need it. You've got Tolan telling you where to go. This well is actually open now, so we can drop down. There's going to be some ads down here. You're going to have quite a big group over here, so if you want to throw a grenade, it's not a bad way to do it. You're going to have quite a big ogre. Again, he's angry, so if you want to save your super for him, probably not a horrible idea. <clears throat> Clear out the rest of these guys. Got a popsicle over here, and we're good. So this is your second ascendant ascendant mystery, I think. These wells ascendant mystery charge. That's both of, of them. Energy used by our techians to sculpt structures such as this. Now they are barren parodies of their once noble purpose. All right. So One from day, here, if you're facing basically the blight. Them. Gonna do a bit of a U-turn and head back this direction. And you may have seen this area before, but we're gonna be back in here. So this is an area that you may have previously seen, but we've got barrier breach right here. Head right around this direction and grab your chest. This is one I'd previously opened. Go up here, grab your anchor. Now, if you got True Sight, jump out here on the platforms, and you're going to work your way up. Watch your jumps of going more vertical. I've, like, not double jumped enough, or I basically hit a wall. I've kind of fallen down, so just, you know, make sure you really get a little verticality to your jump coming up here. And we'll be up here towards the top. You might have a couple adds. Now, what you're going to notice is there's a whole bunch of fun stuff above me up there. I'm going to show you guys how to get up there. What we're going to do is head over to this edge. You're going to find true sight around the edge. There's one right next to this safe passage. You don't need to spawn this one. And this true sight is going to take you all the way up to the top. See that jump right there? Almost swift. Keep working your way up. Gets a little easier as you climb. And if you want to see something really funny, we have gone for full circle back one more time to Beacon 2. And you're like, are we really here again? Yes, yes, we are. So again, if you're back here facing Beacon 2, looking up at the light, do a quick 180. And you're going to notice this thing. We're going to kind of take care of what's in there. But you'll no no also notice we've got this guy. So we're going to grab this anchor. You might have to move a little so you don't fall off. Run up the roof line. And I did this in the previous video, but we're going to use this to our benefit here in a second. So first grab barrier breach. We're going to head inside. You might have a couple ads in here. you got a chest tucked right underneath you. We're going to jump back up, and now we're going to grab True Sight. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and then I'm going to show you like a real run. So you're going to grab True Sight. You're going to come up here. Up here, you'll see these kind of triple blights head just to the right of those, and you're going to find this rock edge right here. Now our goal is to land on this platform right here. Not the circular one, you can't make it there. We want to land on this one and then do a soft jump up to that because it's actually inside of a slow zone. So if you kind of do a 180, just stay to the left of the blights. If you see the tree here in the lighting, you'll kind of know you're headed in the right direction. Follow the roof line down and we can get true sight. Now I've messed this jump up before, but you just don't have that long. So again, one of those things don't dawdle. Grab true sight, jump up here. Jump up here. And then same thing. What you want to do is get a lot of height on your jump. And then just look at your landing as you go. So get a good double jump and glide. Because it's going to slam you down as you get close. We're here. And then you just want to jump up and grab the edge. And this should be the chest that we want to get up here. That you probably need to wait for safe passage. 
And that is the Vantage chest for the Enigmatic Mystery. And you can slowly work yourself down. You might fall. That's okay. All right. Last thing that we're going to do is basically exit this place. So you'll see that's the barrier breach. We already took care of everything down there. If you kind of go up over this little rock that's on the outside edge, you're going to see True Sight. You'll have a nice little platform to climb to here. Climb down here. Head over to the left. And we're back in the ruins one more time. And outside of the actual final um, beacon that you need to go align at the top with kind of the final wizard boss, that is everything. That's pretty much everything that I can find outside of... I can hit this guy. Outside of clearing the boss, that's it. So once you head up there, you can jump on the portal, get up to the top, and you'll be good to go to finish this one up. But as you guys can see, we can check our triumphs now. We're going to have quite a few of these things in Forest of Echoes. So we're going to have the Dark Ritual, Born in Darkness, the Bells, As Above Seen, Vantage. Apparently I'm missing a few. Then you got Twofold, Wayward. We did find the Wayfinding Echoes. We got those. We got Laid to Rest, Airwalk, and Investigate the Shrine. That's the Trivial Wayfinding. So we've got that one checked now. So we have all of those done. And then the last thing you need is the three caches. So this will be a separate video in itself. So you got the Intruder, Bearings, and In Memory. But everything else at this point is done. So you've got the Wayfinding Echoes and the Trivial Wayfinding Echoes all complete. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like below. Uh, if you guys have anything that I may have possibly missed, but I don't think there's too much until we get the next unlock on the compass, please throw that in the comments. If you guys just want to say hello, put that in the comments as well. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that alert bell. That'll help my future videos make it to you so you can get the rest of these things unlocked. If you want to support me directly, you can hit that join button to join as a member of the channel. You can also support me over on Patreon. Link for that's in the description. You can find me on Twitter at Ebontis. And then for streaming, you can find me on twitch.tv slash or over on YouTube streaming as well. Thank you all very much. I'll see you soon.